I own every single Apple product out there, every single iPhone, iPad, iPad Air, iPad Pro, iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15, you get it. Why? Well, because talking about Apple is my job, as crazy as it sounds. That's why in this video, I wanted to tell you the actual Apple ecosystem, the actual products that I actually use in my daily life. Actually, actually, actually. Take a shot every time I said actually in the intro. All right, let's get started. Out of all the iPads that I have, the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, and even the standard iPad are all amazing, but I have to say that the iPad that I actually use in my daily life is the iPad mini. And that's because of the form factor, just being able to hold it with the palm of my hand. It's such a lightweight and portable iPad that just makes me wanna carry it everywhere I go. Even the jacket that I own, the iPad mini literally fits in my jacket, so I mean, the portability on it is absolutely insane. So from reading, productivity, organizing my calendar, watching content, watching YouTube videos, even watching movies, especially for traveling, the iPad mini is just my go-to iPad. And then you combine that with the Apple Pencil, and I've recently been using the Apple Pencil USB-C quite a lot. Since the iPad mini is so small and so portable, as I said, I end up taking a bunch of handwritten notes everywhere I go. And then with the iPhone of choice, you've seen me making videos about the iPhone 15, but the iPhone 15 Plus, but but I'm currently rocking the iPhone 15 Pro Max as my daily phone. I mean, the titanium on this, the action button is actually incredibly handy because I've actually programmed a little menu that I've actually made a video about it as well. The camera is an essential for my workflow and having that times five is just, it's so great. The battery life is also great on it. It lasts me an entire day without a problem. And then USB-C coming to the iPhone changed everything for me since I can actually charge my watch, my AirPods, or even plug in like this camera and an external SSD. I mean, USB-C coming to the iPhone, that's why I love the 15 Pro Max so much. I also have a bunch of AirTags in my Apple ecosystem. I mean, I have an AirTag in my backpack, so I, whenever I lose my backpack, I'll know where it is. I've got AirTags in my keys, so I can always locate my keys around. And AirTag is one of those products that you don't really use every day or every month, but just the fact that it's always there. I actually lost my keys last year and I actually ended up finding them because I, they actually fell somewhere and actually went to the exact place and I actually found my keys. So yeah, if I were you, AirTags are these little affordable products that if I were you, I'd get a couple. I also get tons of questions on whether I should get the AirPods Pro or the AirPods Max. And the ones that I actually use every single day are the AirPods Pro because as good as the AirPods Max are, I have them, they're great, but they're not something that I actually put in my backpack every single day. They're amazing for specific things, but the AirPods Pro, especially the second generation, the sound quality is amazing. And just how small and portable the AirPods Pro are, compared to the AirPods Max. I just love them and I don't leave the house without them. They've got USB-C now, which makes it extremely useful because everything is USB-C now. And the noise cancellation as well, since I live in a city, it's always great to just cancel the sound out, especially for traveling as well. And also just opening and closing. Am I the only one addicted to this? I mean, if you own AirPods, you're probably doing this all day. Am I the only one? And then something that is an essential to my workflow is my MacBook Pro. I've got the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, you know what a Mac is for. I do all of my video editing here. I do all of my designing. I probably get on like three to four Zoom calls every single day. The battery life is great. I love the fact that it actually has an SD card slot. I honestly can't believe I, we lived without it for so long. I mean, for us as video editors, having an SD card slot is just not having to bring dongles with me anywhere. And since everything is USB-C now, it's just, my MacBook actually fell like two years ago. You can probably see it right here. Got this little dent. It's not, it's not a big deal. It works perfectly fine, but I hate that I've got a little dent on my Mac. Poor Mac, she does so much for me. And then when I get home, I actually connect my MacBook Pro to my studio display. And the studio display is one of those other things that Sure, it's it's very pricey. It's a very pricey monitor, but 
so worth it if you work from home and you know whether you have an iMac I mean an iMac is also a great solution I actually ended up just having my MacBook Pro set up like this it's all the same device I know there's iCloud and everything but I just like having one device that I can bring everywhere get home and it's all the same device and the studio display in terms of colors and everything I'm just I'm just absolutely obsessed with it and then with that I've got the magic mouse the magic trackpad and the magic keyboard from Apple are there better mouse and better keyboards out there maybe I'm just used to them and I just like them I like the way they look I like the way they work I love the trackpad you can tell me the Logitech one the Logitech MX3 mouse is better I just like it i know you gotta charge it underneath but it charges super quickly i just and then at home like, once it's time like to it. relax i've got home pods all over my home i've got home pod minis in my kitchen and the bathroom i've got it in my living room i've also got the sonos set up so the sonos isn't necessarily part of apple but it is part of the ecosystem since it's got airplay I actually made an entire video about my sonos setup sonos air 300 the sub the actual arc i mean it's mind-blowing i actually prefer the sonos era 300 the way that they sound rather than the home pods but the home pods still have series still have home kits so i still love the home pod obviously I actually prefer probably the way that it looks. I love the HomePod's design and it's just, it fits into any home perfectly well. And this glass of up in the top and the screen, I just, I love the HomePod. And especially with Siri, I just need it, especially to run my, my HomeKit devices, even though I like the way that the Sonos Era 300 actually sounds better. But that's exactly how I built my home, right? In my living room, in my couch, in my TV setup, I've got the Sonos setup for the best sound quality. And then in my room, in my studio, in my bedroom. That's why I've got a bunch of home pods there. I mean, in the kitchen, I don't care if I have the best or not best quality while I'm cooking. I have a home pod mini. I've got Siri so I can ask timers when I'm cooking. I mean, I love the home pod. I mean, I'll say it once, I'll say it twice. I absolutely love the home And then home let's pod. talk about the Apple Watch because you've seen me wearing the Apple Watch Series 9 in certain videos and then the Apple Watch Ultra. Which one do I actually wear on my daily life? Now, the Apple Watch is actually the only device that I actually keep switching, right? On the iPad, I only use the iPad mini. And with the Mac, I only use my MacBook Pro. But with the Apple Watch, I love both of them so much and they're so different and so similar at the same time i love that fact that the apple watch ultra's battery lasts me for days but i also prefer the design of the apple watch series 9 it fits my style better i i feel like the apple watch ultra has like a more ultra look and it's more like you know maybe if i'm wearing a certain outfit i'll wear an apple watch series 9 rather than the ultra i just love both of them i wish that the apple watch series 9 would just have a crazy battery life and i could just switch to that but instead, the Apple Watch Ultra has so many better things, the display and everything. So I've got mixed feelings with both. I actually love both of them too much. This is the smallest webcam in the entire world. And it's actually got a mirrorless Sony sensor. They come in black and white. And it's super easy to connect. You've got USB-C. You simply plug it into your Mac or to your PC. It's got this clip design. So it literally just clips to your laptop with ease. And what's cool about the USB-C cable is you see this part right here. Once you plug it in, you can actually tap on it. And you can actually mute yourself. But hey, can't you just mute yourself on Zoom? Oh yeah, buddy. But then everybody knows that you're on mute and then everybody sees you. I mean, if you work from home, you know what I mean. Instead with the tadpole, you just tap and you're muted. The design of the tadpole is stunning and it's just so well thought out on the actual length of the cable because it just fits right on and you don't have like any cables floating around. It's just the exact same measurement. And it's so small that it makes it so portable to take it everywhere you go. If you need a webcam for your old PC or for your newest MacBook, links are down below in the description. Opal, thank you so much for sponsoring this part of the video. I honestly really like the white. I mean, for those of you who like black, but I mean, the white is just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with both. They're, they're so cool and tiny and USB-C and cool design. Links in the description. Okay, bye-bye. I actually filmed the video that you were watching a couple weeks ago and yeah, I have been using Apple Vision Pro for a couple weeks now. And I gotta say, I mean, I've made tons of videos about it, but it's adapted in my workflow, in my ecosystem so well. The way that I can just monitor my MacBook with my Apple Vision Pro and see my MacBook's display so big. Since Apple Vision Pro has Apple Notes and Mail and the calendar, I can get so productive. And just the fact 
that it works so well with your eyes, with your hands. It's why Apple Vision Pro has adapted so well. I don't want to talk too much about it because I've already made tons of videos about it. So if you want to see my experience with the Apple Vision Pro on an airplane, you can tap this video right here or why you need an Apple Vision Pro. I don't want to say it in this video, but I'm just going to say it's adapted to my ecosystem so incredibly well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.